What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. This is going to be part two of the 52 volt MX650 rebuild. Uh, today we're going to continue refinishing all of the components so we can at least get the frame, swing arm, fork and wheels back together so that we can get ready to reinstall all the other components. And here's how we're looking so far. I chose to go with a bright orange finish to kind of give it a KTM themed look. I laid it down pretty thick to ensure it gets a glossy finish. I think it's gonna look pretty good combined with this gloss black swing arm. And for the rear shock, I'm gonna be using this one by DNM. It's 165 millimeters long. This was on my first MX650 before I switched over to the 190 adjustable on that one. This is more ideal for street use, not so much off-road. It is a higher spring rate. This is 750 pounds. It's more ideal for heavier riders like myself. I'm 180 pounds right now. If you are a lot lighter, I would consider a much softer spring rate. This shock actually gives the back of the bike about an inch and a half lift. If you mount it on this lower mounting point on the swing arm, if you put on this upper one, it gives it about a one inch lift. And for the fork, I'm gonna be using this original one that came off of my 72 volt MX650. I purchased this brand new last year, so this has very little use on it. I swapped over to an Alter Ego fork and pit bike brake. This one's got the Zoom hydraulic mountain bike brake already installed on it. So we're gonna combine that with a 160 mil rotor for the front. I'm gonna leave the other fork assembly with the ski alone and just keep it set aside in case it snows so I can just throw it on whichever bike I want to use. And for the motor, I'm going to be using this MY1020 motor that came with my Weber 48 volt brushless kit. And while I have it off the bike, I'm going to be swapping out this 11 tooth sprocket with a 13 tooth sprocket since we are trying to get as much speed out of this bike as we can. This motor is a little muddy because this was my Enduro bike at one point. In case you haven't swapped sprockets on a razor before, I just want to give you a heads up. The shaft is reverse thread. 
So to take the sprocket off, you hold the shaft down with a 10 millimeter and you turn the nut with a 12 millimeter clockwise to loosen it, swap the sprocket, and then you turn counterclockwise to tighten it. Here's what the size difference looks like between the 11 tooth and the 13 tooth. And for the handlebar, I'm just using a factory one with a Pro Taper 8.6 inch bar pad. And I'm gonna pair that with this Electro & Co twist throttle that has a built-in three-speed controller. And it also has Pro Taper grips already installed. Should pair nicely. And here's how that looks. I really like the feel of these Pro Taper grips, though I've never used one of these ENC twist throttles. If you've installed one of these and you happen to know which wire does what, please comment below because I'm definitely gonna need some help with this install. I've installed the Kelly controller before and I've reviewed a lot of wiring diagrams. I've installed a lot of different kinds of throttles. I'm used to the green, black, and red being the throttle position wires, and then the blue and yellow is like for an on-off switch or ignition, though I've never had this six-wire combo. So let me know if you happen to know how to install one of these. Just quickly throw on the CRF 50 body to give you guys an idea how the color combo is gonna look. I think it pairs pretty well. I've definitely got some work to do on this body though. It's got a bunch of scratches since this was my enduro bike. So I'm gonna restore this and uh, maybe work on the fitment, trying to get it to fit a little better around the seat. All right, guys, it looks like this is all we have time for today. I've got to take care of some work things, but on the next video, I'm planning on installing the lithium battery, the Kelly controller, some lighting and wiring everything up. We'll see how far we can get. But if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my projects, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching.